Hello, welcome to a brand new tutorial from AGF TV. Today we are going to learn a new thing that's introduction to shape layers. We are going to learn how to use the shape to, to draw rectangles and other plane figures. So quickly create a new workspace by pressing Ctrl N or New. Go to go into a file menu and selecting new. Yeah. So today we are going to work with a high definition resolution or dimension. So we are using 1280 by 720. The resolution will set at 100 dpi. Then we click OK. So this is how it looks like. There is a high definition resolution at 720. OK. So let's start so you click um, as create new fill or adjustment layer then you select a solid color today we are working with a color that's quite of this form something dim of this form okay then do this okay so you can just copy this code and input it when you are following this tutorial. Okay. Then select OK. Make sure your foreground color is black and your white or the background color is white. Then you come to that same area and you select gradient. You change the linear to radial. Then you click on reverse. We actually want the move color to be bigger than the black so we increase the scale to, okay i'll set it around 288 then this cool okay so now i move to your two bar or two menu uh, last time i was saying that as a designer you must know how to use each and every tool over here so today we are going to stick with the shape tool yeah, as you can see the, the rectangle has been selected so it says rectangle 2 so we click on that you can right click on it to get other options like round rectangle to ellipse polygon you can draw anything of your choice and if you want to draw a custom shape you can click on this and there you go you have many shapes over here at the default, I think there is only 50 shapes. You can click on this certain notification and select all that you want all the shape. Then you click on append. All the shapes will come here. There are plenty of shapes over here. Okay. So let's move on. Today we are working around the rectangle too. So I'll select it. I'll click or left click and drag. While I hold the space bar to move it anywhere I want, let's minimize it a little bit. Okay, there you go. I don't want this color, it's too dim, so I'll change it. I'll click on this rectangle in the layer pane. So we double click on it. There you go, you have your color pane. So I want something yellowish. Go move color. A yellowish can be bright on the move color. Black is too dim, so this is the color that I'm using for today's tutorial. So I click OK. Now you need to rasterize this um, shape because, as you see, you see some um, um, edges around it, and you don't need it. So you right click on the rectangle, then you click rasterize layer. OK. So today we are going to learn something new about picture technology. Now one thing that you have to know is um, any picture that you see on your phone is in a worldly format or a, worldly, a worldwide accepted format called JPEG. That's a joint picture expert group format. But when you see a picture with no background, we call it PNG. PNG. So today we are going to work around the PNG and this is the picture that we are going to work around it. As you can see you don't find any background over here. So we call this picture or this type of picture a PNG. 
or you can drag it to any background or any surface if you want to download this picture you go to google you just type chef skinner skinner then you add the word png to it so you get the design over there okay so you click on this picture after downloading it as you can see you can find item type png file so you drag it to photoshop icon in the tax bar then you leave it on your work as we don't want it at that position so we pull it to the left hand side then we mark it okay if you are not happy with the position of it you can select your move to and drag it any way you would want it to position i think this is cool okay i'm going to write around it we want people to come and buy our food so i'll select the test to the test I'll be using is Scriptina. You can download it from Google. You just type Scriptina um, font download. It will just come. It's very stylish. So that's what I'm using today. So you click somewhere here. Then you type come. You mark it. You select your move to then move it to somewhere here. Okay. Now you select your test tool again. This time around, we are not using Scriptina, but you'll be using Trident Pro. You can download that one too. I think it's default in Photoshop. You can find it in Photoshop, it's default. So Trident Pro, that's what I'm using today. So I press enter. Okay, so let's click um, on the surface you want to type first. So I'll be typing in block letters, I'll be typing it with okay. then I'll mark it. As you can all see the white is not looking brighter on the yellowish surface, so we have to change the color. So I'll change the white to black. <coughs> and then I'll select my Trajan Pro. So this is how the font look like. I want it to be more bold, so you change the regular to bold. And I'll click on this, this Fox Bold. I'll click on it. It boldens it and makes it more deeper. Now reduce the font a little bit. Okay. Then this cool. I like the position too, so I'll leave it as such. Okay. <coughs> I'll select the test tool again. This time I'm going to work with Scriptina again. So I'll look for Scriptina and click. And click that's beneath the rectangle tool or the rectangle shape. I'll click here and type as like this. And change this font color to white. Okay. Then now I can look for the scriptina. Okay. I don't want it deep like this, so I'll change it this at first bold. Okay. This is cool. So I'll press or I'll select my move to and move it into the middle. There you go. So today we've learned about the shape layer, how to use the rectangle tool and how to work around it. And we have been able to bring um, or make a design like this. I think you love this design and remember to subscribe to this channel for more updates and for more tutorials. See you next week, Tuesday. Bye bye.